Hey folks, I'm Aaron Watkins, and I just have one question. Where Brooklyn at? Now our pit stop today is the Brooklyn Children's Museum in the heart of Crown Heights. And Brooklyn's Caribbean community is coming together today to kick off events to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the West Indian American Labor Day Parade. It's fun in the sun. You ready? Let's do this. Presenting the colors of brilliant colors for love and happiness. And then I'm um, Queen of Labor Day for nine years. I won nine executive years. And I look forward every, each and every year to play my costume because it's a sense of my um, culture that I want to, you know, dance and, you know, to bring in people, let them come and have a good time. And, you know, dance on the stage, and so I always look forward to it every year. Uh, I was here for the first carnival. No. So we're talking about 50 years ago. I first came to this country. No, day one. Yes, from day one. So I know, and it's near and dear to me. Part of it is that it gave me my identity. Right? As a teenager, you're coming to a new place. You know, your parents pluck you and bring you anywhere. You have no other choice. But the carnival gave me my sense of self. And I'm so glad for it. I give thanks to Mr. Lazama for even thinking about it, for us to have a place that we can call up. And so it's important for us to just hand it off, pass it off. Uh, can you tell us first, what island are you from? And can you tell us about the added security uh, this year for the festival? Okay. I'm a descendant of Haiti. So, Haiti, what sac passe, napule. And um, I can tell you about the added security is that, you know, the, new, the city of New York is really um, careful and really supports the West Indian Day Carnival um, Parade. And we want to make sure that there's enough security to uh, make sure the vendors and the participants are safe. What are some of the biggest challenges in, t in promoting and marketing uh, and successfully running an event like this each year? Um, because we have had some negative publicity associated with um, the previous Juve's incidences, which are actually no relation to our organization and association, while we are all promoting Caribbean culture, it has affected um, community partners buying in and helping us and, and getting funds to put, put on this big event. We're fortunate we've not had any issues or incidents at the parade for some time now. Uh, this year, the uh, Jubilee will begin, will end at 11 o'clock, and the carnival will begin at 11 o'clock as it traditionally will, and we'll be off the parkway at 6 o'clock. So ho hopefully uh, we will not have any issues, because every time there is an issue, you have uh, that ripple effect. Uh, you know, the, the event being violent, it's about that we have a problem in America, you know, with violence. Now, if we're talking about violence, there's more violence during the 4th of July. You know, so I never hear anybody say, let's shut down 4th of July. We're making an impact to show that we can be who we are, whatever we want, doctors, lawyers, um, and that we're a contributing factor to society. 